for mouthing, but you don't live up to those principles, you've killed her right there. When you make decisions and, uh, and you speak about, yeah, we need to empower and we need to, uh, we're going to develop some self-directed action with our teams and we're going to be able to uh, put, create an innovation engine into the organization, but at a certain level you're hoarding power or you're not sharing information or you're making a decision to make yourself look better instead of raising the view of your employees, kills it right there, right? All these different things. Um, we need to cut through the red tape, make decisions happen faster, create more transparency, more communication, and leadership example, leaders who actually will exemplify exactly, exactly where you need to go and how you're going to achieve it, focusing on what's right instead of who's right, is critical. And often, if you think back, I'm sure the most powerful leaders that you see do this. I mean, have you seen that in your experience? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I've, I've had the opportunity to talk with some CEOs lately, and they are – um, they're down in the trenches, and, and, and these are people who are, are leading great companies, and, and they, they, they do exactly what you're saying. They're, they're making sure that they're living the principles they're trying to get everyone else involved in, and that, that shows. That it shows in the people they hire. It shows in the people yeah. that they develop. Um, they, they, they want to become like these CEOs. We just started working with an organization, and as we did a survey, we heard this phrase a lot, mahogany row. What did that mean? It meant that they, everybody in this organization felt that Mahogany Row were the executives of the company never wanted to touch foot where they were, didn't want to talk to them. I mean, they literally had a cultural phrase like Mahogany Row, oh, well, that's Mahogany Row. Yeah. That's how they are. We have to break those. The first thing that we start doing that's being implemented right now is setting up conversations where the CEO, COO, all these leaders are going